All right, go ahead. All right, so here's the dominant one, of the stem of it all. And this is really from a Mickey Baker uh, idea in the arpeggio section of the black Mickey Baker, of the first Mickey yeah, Baker. Yeah, because I do those things, and I don't know how to use the, I don't know what he's, I, I know the what he's doing, but I don't know how to use it here. Yeah, you know? well, well, here's, well, let, let's just talk about the way this is. Here, here's the run. Okay. What is, what is that? It's seven, root, third, fifth, seven, flat, nine, root. Oh, no, that, that B7 flat 9 run? Well, any 7 flat 9. All right. So when I got that run, I really liked it. So then I, I played it backwards. Then I started to realize that any time you play a run, if, like this run takes up the first four strings, you see? That means that same run has to exist on the middle four strings. Yeah, yeah. And then on the last four strings. Just try to milk it, so now you got it here, right? Now, if you look at other ones, the dominants take the most. Suppose you have a major seven. All right, well, you can ask before you do that, like in this one song where it shows you it's going from B7 to E7, can you blend that, that run in? You would do this. There's what I did a chord trace. All right. Chord trace is where I just take the chord. I just play it as a run. Even this. See? And then you can even add little extra tones. And when you add an extra tone, what do you look at? Just like half steps or like yeah, running in like dramatic like kind of shit? You can always half step up and down. Have a, this is well. This chord has three names. This chord is a B minor seven flat five, an E minor six, a C sharp minor seven flat five, E minor six, or an A seven. You can. I'm just tracing the chord. See? Even uh, if you have like a major seven, like this. Look. You can even do this. Can we do that again on the major seven? Oh, I see what you yeah. just playing, I'm just tracing the chord. See, even. See, I did this. And when you when you trace that chord, do you start on the root? Or yes, that? I can, or I don't, you know. Just a little run. So we got, it's in the scale of C. In this, yeah. this is C major 7. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. So you have all of the, this whole run. Anytime you have any of these, you can always... Chromatic, I can... Yeah, because you're in between the chord notes. See, this, this is in the indices of 7th and the ninth. Here's the C major 9 of right? You can always go in between. As long as you don't land on it. Now it's wrong, but before, as long as it's in the passing, it works. Exactly, I know what you mean. See? All right. All right, so, so far, what you said is... One second. Just All right.